Brings on Tangata. Tangata winding up, but goes back from where the action came. Jufre, dummy half, surveying the options, goes blind. Here's Matty G. Takes it all well, makes good yards as Matty G. Nearly gets the halfway line. Last tackle signaled by referee Mike Rush, Liam Rush even. As Keys puts a bit of a spiral bomb up. Jones Bishop didn't look comfy under that. He bounces horribly. And it's a good chase there from Warnsley. Helped out by Mason and Murray. Looking to push him out. That's a great defensive response there. And it's a knock on. It's a knock on from the Eagles. A fantastic result there for the Panthers. And as it is, it'll be a Panthers scrum. 15 yards out centre field. Where we saw lots of joy last season. Here's Jufre. Gap there. Here's a Woodburn all out the back. And it goes to James Sorenstall. And James Sorenstall opens his account for the Panthers. First try of 2023. Less than five minutes in. And it's the perfect start for the Panthers. James Sorenstall goes over. Brilliant play. You can do all the homework you like in Sheffield, knowing how good we are from the scrums, but it's another one to actually stop him. And we're just over five minutes gone here at the Shea. James Saltonstall try. This tricky conversion. Interview in the week saying that he's still haunted by the miscom penalty attempt against York last time we played here. But Key strikes it well. Never in doubt from Joe Keys. And you can hear the South Stand. Raw keys. What a brilliant start for the Panthers. After just over six minutes here at the Shea. It's Halifax Panthers six, Sheffield Eagles nil. The three quarter line coming in and doing their work as Tangata thought about the pass and it goes to Aston. It's a knock on there. It's back to one. Cries from the east stand of, uh, of a reef, but. Well, Tangata takes instant retribution there. I think he knows he knocked that ball on. And he absolutely clatters Ben Jones Bishop there. As Joel Farrell gets the ball. And it's all. It's a spillage there. And it's a knock on there for the Panthers. As Tyler Dickinson runs in. And it's on. It's only taking less than a quarter of an hour. And it's on. Bring that a biff. I said before the game, the oceans are running high and they definitely are on the pitch as well. Less than five out here, Halifax. As Moore finds Dan Murray. There was a, a chance there if he'd have passed the ball on, but plenty of tackles in the bag here for Halifax. If they can just keep the composure here. As Moore fires it out. Bit of a loose pass to Jufre, but this broken field ahead of him here. This is what Jufre thrives on. But the door closes. Gone backwards a bit there. I thought a bit more room to, to manoeuvre as Keys. Grubbers through to Ben Kavanagh. Oh! Great defence there from Ben Jones Bishop. But ever so slowly, Halifax is starting to turn the screw here against this Sheffield Eagles defence. As Keys brings on Tangata at the ang angle. Good footwork at the line. Takes three Eagles men to bring him down. Less than five out. More to Keys. Keys. Goes wide to Jufre, long ball to Mason. There's an overlap here as Lachlan Walsley. Oh, what a try! What a dive there from Lachlan Walsley. And it's the two wingers to Fax who gets the try as Lachlan Walsley opens his account for the Panthers in 2023. And the decision to go for the, for the try rather than the goal has paid dividends for Fax. As we should come to expect this. We should come to expect the acrobatic finish there from Lackle Warmsley, who did it 30 times last year. And here he is, straight into the Axon Fairbank, and does well. Good yards after contact there. Oh, nearly dropped it. Here's Murray out to Keys. Keys brings Cavender on the angle. And it's another penalty for Halifax. I think he's given offside here. Up, oh, and it's 10 metres for descent, and someone's going to the bin here. Now he's already given penalty for descent against the Eagles player. 
And it's Brandon Douglas, the ex Fax Loney. He's only just come onto the field. Two minutes later, it's coming off at Sinbin. Even more pressure on the Sheffield line. With Tangata, hands on to Moore, Moore to Jufre, Jufre, flat, flat pass to G, as Matty G is going over, but he's given, he's, he's not given the try, he's in about seven minds here, his rush, he, he's given a penalty for, I think for a late shot, but surely there's advantage there, I think he must have ruled that the pass was forward, as Brandon Moore taps and goes, Goes for Jufre, Jufre brings on Zach McComb on the angle. Goes between Mikey Wood and Guaze. Just over 10 yards out here. More on to Keys. Keys brings on Jufre. Long pass to Mason. And Mason's going in for a debut try. And Halifax go. Three scores up here at the Shea. It's been coming for less than a minute before a try was ruled out. But it was delaying the inevitable. And Jake Mason on his debut scores a great try. And after 26 minutes here at the Shea, it's Halifax 14, Sheffield nil with a kick to come. As Keys goes through his routine. Looking to slot one over from the touchline. Better strike this time, it looks high. And it's handsome, straight through the uprights. As Keyes converts his second goal of the game to win the scores. Halifax Panthers 16, Sheffield nil. More on to Tangata, Tangata. That was out of the batch of Keyes, dummies, and goes wide to Mason. Mason, he's got pace. Oh, Zach and Walsley, Walsley away. Oh, great tackle there, but he's still going. Zach and Walsley. That left edge looks so dangerous and quick for Halifax. Saltonstall screaming for the ball on this right hand side. As Keyes, dummies, tries to go himself. He needs to see support. There's no one there. Quick play of the ball, though. Here's Moore to Jufre. Jufre goes inside to Brandon Moore. Brandon Moore. Let's tackle there on the handover. Bit of panic stations there from the Panthers. But when all said and done, they've gone up the field. 90 metres there. Less than five minutes to go till half time here. As Farrell finds Douglas back on the field for the Sinbin. That 10 makes us flown. But in that time, we've made it count. With that Jake Mason tries answered, finds a gap, and the Eagles will go in. And that is soft defence. As Blake Broadbent just walked through the gap to open the account for 2023 for Sheffield Eagles. As Jack Hansen wants to turn the four into six. Strikes it well. And it goes through the post. As Keys kicks deep. Gets a decent enough bounce. As Bass hands off. On to John Ben Jones Bishop looking for a gap. But Fairbank. Fairbank takes the tackle there. And that's a daft penalty there. Corey Aston pushed the Halifax man away. Pushed the Halifax man away needlessly. Meanwhile, Will Ma will be coming to the field to make his second debut for the club. And Keyes kicks the penalty. And Brandon Moore coming off the field, along with Kevin Laroya, replaced by Will Ma and Dan Murray. As Joe Key's penalty brings the scores. Talifax 18, Sheffield 6. Five metres out from the Panthers line. Here the Eagles. Murphy gets a short ball on. But again, the Panthers defence through Ben Kavanagh. Hold him out, Halafihi out to Brandon Douglas, what a tackle that is. That's a fantastic tackle there from Jacob Fairbank. The Eagles knocking on the door and have they got over, they have. Another short range try for the Eagles. And one of the try scorers, Blake Broadbent coming off. The next fax man, Titus Guaze, coming back onto the field as Jack Hansen converts the score. 
first real decent attacking opportunity for a while here for the Panthers as Zach McComb must be doing well as he's making really good yards after contact there Zach McComb great run there picking the momentum up for the Panthers Inman goes left to Fairbank Fairbank finds Keys. Keys goes short to Kavanagh met by strong Sheffield defence there Keys jumps into dummy half as Kavanagh spills the ball and it's a penalty for Halifax and this is where you'd think they'd go for two points here to go two scores up just over a quarter of an hour to go ground hushes the south stand will tell us as Keys hits the penalty there to bring the score out to Halifax Panthers 20 Sheffield Eagles 12 Halafi goes from Dummy R, finds Guaze, Guaze, good footwork past Tangata but not past Dan Murray here's Hansen again Hansen looks to chip over the top looking to force a goal line drop out but he doesn't and it goes there and referee he's given a penalty there he must have given obstruction or Shepard in against Halifax man and yet another penalty for Sheffield less than 10 out Halafi again finds Douglas, Douglas finds off Liu and he goes over and Liu stretches out for the Eagles and yet again another short range try conceded by the Panthers no tries the second half for Halifax just two penalties from Joe Keys as Jack Hansen converts to bring the score to Halifax 20, Sheffield 18 Last tackle here for Sheffield. Finds Hansen on the last. Pulls it high, plenty of chasing. Woodburn all takes it well again. And Woodburn all's gone for open field here. Woodburn all steps, Jones Bishop gets out of the way. But he manages to hold on. And that's a great result there for Fax. As Mason lost the counter attack, finds Saltonstall. Saltonstall hands it on to G. G. It's tackle there. As Will Calcott comes on for Will Ma. As Saltonstall. Finds gap behind the rook. Grabbed round the collar there. By Oaks. As Calcott fresh onto the field. Charges into the Sheffield line. This is much better from the Panthers. As a south stand. Raise the voices. Trying to see the boys home. Keys. Spies a gap inside. Well tackled there. By Guaze. And Aston. Here's Moore. On to Murray. Murray on to Jufre. Jufre. Goes wide to G, G onto Woodburn all, Grubbers through, great kick there as Matty Dawson Jones taps the ball dead. Brilliant result there from the Panthers. He's still going, plays the ball well. Here's more onto Jufre, Jufre, short to G, G still going. Came out attacking it with Guazi who managed to, to stop him. Lost of Christ, or a penalty there as Moore finds keys, keys. Out of the battle, Woodburn all, Woodburn all. Wide to Walsley, Walsley! No! Oh, Walsley! He's not going to give it. He's giving a forward pass. Now, I'm not too sure about that. That looked to be absolutely fine and dandy to me. But the touch judge didn't break the corner flag. Here's Chris Wellham as Tangata shoots out from the scrum. Pulsing now is a quick play of the ball. Is it an incorrect play of the ball? It is. He's knocked it on and Adam Tangata celebrates like he's just won. As tight as Quasi lets the emotions boil over. And right on cue, Joel Farrell looks to try and get involved. That was great defence there from Tangata. The hush comes over the Shea. Everyone biting the nails in anticipation what's going to happen in the next three minutes. So going to play the ball down and yet again it's a six again here as Joel Farrell looks to twist over but nothing happening. It's a fifth six again here for, for Sheffield as Halafihi goes wide. Aston, he has set it by Saltonstall and Saltonstall's away. James Saltonstall finds broken field, he's still going Saltonstall. Hands off to Jufre, goes inside. Jufre, on to Keys, Keys still going, Joe Keys, still in there, Joe Keys, hands off to Walsley, Walsley has he got enough space, he goes inside, oh what brilliant cover defence there from Sheffield, but Halifax are queuing up here on this right hand side, 
Joel Keyes goes there, and Jake Mason! Jake Mason scores to win the game for the Halifax Panthers. As they go from one end of the field to the other, as Jake Mason on his debut. Two minutes to go, and surely, surely, that's the game-winning score. Composure there from Joe Keyes. They were queuing up to the right-hand side. They decides to go blind, and he sets the centre in for what must be the game-winning score for Jake Mason. The second try of the game to bring the score to Halifax 24, Sheffield 18, and surely, surely the win on this first game of the Betfred Championship. If Keyes can just land this conversion here, it would raise the roof because still six points difference against this Sheffield side that won't go away. So hopefully, just maybe win this game for the Panthers as Keyes lines up. Strikes it well. Oh! It is straight through the post. And Joe Keyes, with a swing of his right boot, hit the post against York. With a swing of his right boot, has won this first game of the season here for Halifax. As the crowd count down to victory. And there it is, there's a hooter. And Lachlan Walls, it takes a tackle. And it's an opening day of victory for the first time in three years for Halifax against the same Sheff side that they beat last time in Sheffield. The final score after a pulsating, emotional, highly charged game here at the Shea. After tries from James Saltonstall, Lachlan Warnsley and two from Jake Mason and a try from Blake Broadbent and two from Yuli Liu in response for the Eagles, but it was that second Jake Mason score right at the death that has won this game for the Halifax Panthers. 26 points to Sheffield Eagles, 18. Up the facts.